Welcome to another new video where I'll talk about Nextcloud. So today I'll show you how to put Nextcloud behind Tor. Here I have a Nextcloud service running in a Docker container and it's served uh, with the Apache web server. What you see here is the configuration of Tor where I created like this a new hidden service. So what you need to do is to create this new directory with the correct permissions as I did here. So you can check the permissions with this command ls minus ld. So since I'm running on Debian, when I install Tor, this uh, Debian Tor user was created, and so the the directory must have the, these permissions. So uh, 700 for the permissions and Debian Tor user and group like this. So here. Tor has already created this, these files, but uh, I can regenerate them like this. So first of all, I'm going to delete them. Okay, so now we have an empty directory. Uh, then if we restart the Tor service like this, Okay, the files have been regenerated. The file what we need is the host name. This is just uh, the um, onion service host name that we need to use. And so um, going back to the Tor RC file. So after uh, defining a directory, you need to define the port like this. So this is the port exposed on Tor. Uh, since uh, we will we'll use a um, Tor browser, it will be exposed on port 80, just like a normal HTTP service. And uh, the hidden Tor service will run on port 8765 on localhost. And so now we can see the um, configuration of Apache. Uh, so I created this uh, file called nextcloudtor.conf, which is included in the Apache configuration. And we can open it and see what's inside. So first of all, you define the port 8765, which must coincide with the port we defined in the TorRC file. Uh, then there is all the um, normal Apache configuration for this virtual host. So you have to define a new virtual host running on localhost, so 127.0.0.1, and then the port 8765. The server name Okay, so now we regenerated the hidden service, so we must get the host name and put it in place of this one, like this. Okay. Uh, you have to change some headers as well. So instead of using our normal Nextcloud domain, uh, you have to rewrite the header like this. So all the requests go to the onion domain. Okay. And then you change this one as well, this header. Uh, you put the reverse proxy like in the um, clearnet service. So in this case, it runs on port 4005. And that's it for Apache. So uh, after editing this, I remember that this file is included from the main Apache configuration file. So you save it. Systemctl restart Apache 2. Okay. Let's check the status. Okay. Uh, the final step you need to do is to add the onion service in the trusted domains uh, array. So this is the um, configuration file for Nextcloud. In the config directory, it's called config.php. Here you will see all the other stuff up is hidden here. So you just need to add the onion host name like this. Usually in position one, you'll have the um, clearness uh, host name, but you save this file. 
you copy the onion host name and now everything should work so you can open uh, Tor browser like I did here and try to connect to the the hidden service it, it is obviously m much lower than the normal uh, clearness service but it works I forgot to put the HTTP here in front of the of the onion domain let's see if it works now okay so now I got it to work it was just missing the HTTP here so now you can see it here so now I'll show you the speed the real speed okay not very fast but let's show you the circuits here eventually Earlier, I created this file, which I edited directly in the, using Tor Browser. See, it's very slow, but... Okay. Testing, testing. The only thing I think it won't work with Tor is talk, I think. But the rest of the stuff should work fine. Okay, so yeah, uh, as you see here, there's this question. Does Tor work with WebRTC? Uh, so I looked up this um, this question because Talk, uh, this app here, uses WebRTC. So the answer is, let's see, uh, Tor, bro Tor Browser is built without Web. RTC support, since WebRTC can be used to circumvent those proxy settings via ICE over UDP. Uh, talk won't work, it says here. You can um, understand that talk doesn't work. So yeah, as you can see, the news, uh, the news app works as well. Yeah, I think it's just the talk app that doesn't work. But Maybe there are other ways to do chats via Tor. So yeah, I think you can also use uh, uh, the Collabora online. Maybe it will be slower, but let's see. No, so Collabora doesn't work. Uh, I think this is because uh, it tries to connect to the... Um, si since Collabora is running on another domain, maybe that's the reason. So yeah, I think there are some problems with the domain. And so that inhibits uh, Collabora from working. But let's see if the Notes app works. At least that one. So testing, testing. Preview, okay. Yeah, this one works. Yeah, so not everything works. The heavier apps, of course, are slow. Even the login is low, but an advantage of using um, Tor, although it's not very practical, for the speed is that you can use Nextcloud behind a, a NAT without opening any ports. So you can take that into consideration as well if you need uh, to run Nextcloud behind Tor and of course for privacy reasons as well. So if you need uh, the configuration such as the Apache configuration, 
I'll leave it in the video description as usual. You'll find the link to the file there. And so that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.